Hello everyone, welcome back once again. So today's topic is we're going to look at the function that is capitalized and the function find which are string functions. Okay, and then we are going to take a program to demonstrate how this find function works. Okay, so immediately we will start. So the function capitalize is it is basically very simple if I have a string as as um, maybe Anthony okay so and if I try to print s dot since this is a method so uh, it is associated with the uh, with the object s and everything is a object in Python so then I have to use okay that is that is uh, capitalize so capitalize okay and that's it so what this function will do basically it will make the first character of the sentence of the string as capital okay so if i pr print this you can see the output okay i'll just save it with test.py and now you can see the output Okay, here it is so a is been capitalized so even if it, there is a big uh, you know some kind of sentence you have and you want the first character to to capitalize it so you can straight up use this function uh, capitalize okay it's very simple now we will move forward to the next function that is the find function now this is one interesting function and we are going to actually uh, develop a program regarding the find function to demonstrate how it works so find function basically it uh, takes a substring and uh, it tries to find the substring into the main string okay so how this works is i just change this sentence first i'll remove this and uh, over here so let us have a proper sentence maybe uh, we live we live under the same sun and under the same moon isn't it we live under the same sun and under the same moon but or then tell me why we can't we can't okay live as one we can't live as one okay i'll just take this make it as a multi-line string with a triple quote right now this is a multi-line string so basically the string is this is how you can have a multi-line string okay just start with a triple uh, double quote or a single quote okay so we live under the same sun and under the same moon then tell me why tell me why okay so tell me why we can't live as one i'll just make this short over here okay uh -huh. so we can't live as one isn't it so now that's the sentence now let us try to find the find function we will use the find function it is also associated it's a method so if i say something like n is equal to s dot find function and I'm trying to find a substring that is uh, maybe under or at this or I'll just give sun at this point sun okay now this is a substring I'm trying to find and now and then I will print n now what will be n that we will see I will explain you this in detail so it has given number 23 now why it displayed the number 23 is because this find function basically will try to find sun that is a substring okay it's not a word we are trying to find we are trying to find a substring it can be anything okay so sun okay so if you try to um, as you know that strings have indexes and it starts with the index value of zero so it starts from zero so this is zero one right then the uh, two three then four five six then this is 7, that is blank, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and this is 13, then 14, 15, 16, 17, okay, then 18, 
1920 this is 21 index value this is 22 and this is 23 so we got the output as 23 because it will give you the starting it will find this uh, substring and will give that starting index value for that substring so the, the the index value for this is 23 so you can see it has given us the output okay i will just run this again so you can see that it has given the output as 23 because this this particular character starts at 23 the index value for at this particular character is 23 so that it, it will find it and it will return the starting index value for that particular substring so it is starting from 23 and that's sum so it's not that okay it is just that we are trying to find a word we are actually trying to find a substring so how about if i just give space and and if you see the output over here so we will have the same output because now we are trying to find this substring so we are not searching a word basically we are searching a substring it can be a word also but it actually searches for a substring so sun space and so we have searched this and this it starts from 23 index value right so if you are not aware of index values you can go to my previous tutorial where i have uh, showed you explained everything in detail about how what is forward indexing backward indexing so you can just go to my previous video and you can learn that and then come back to this tutorial again if you're if you're a bit confused about uh, indexing in strings okay so that's how it works now how about if i give uh, the the word that is same now if i try uh, if i run this I will get the index value that 18. So basically this function returns a number that is an index value. So I'm collecting that number in N and I'm printing that N. So same, now it gave me the index value 18. Now why 18? Because this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and this is 18. But you can see that there is another word that is same, right? There are two words or two substrings that are same. So whichever it finds first, I mean, it means basically it will uh, it will encounter this first because it's, it's uh, starts from the index value zero. So it will return eighteen. So it's nothing to do with this, okay? So this is how the find function works. It basically finds a substring and it will return the index value. But what if it doesn't return anything, x, y, z, this, this, I mean, it, uh, the string, substring does not exist anywhere. So in that case, it will return a minus one value. So if it doesn't find the substring, it will return minus one and it will be collected in n and I'm printing that n. Okay. Now let us develop a program since uh, there was a problem that uh, I, what if, if I want uh, all the index values for the word same. So this is 18, but I also want the index value for this too. So there are two uh, places that this word is occurring and I want the index value for both. So for that, now we need to apply some logic. Now let us just see how to do that. Uh, so, okay, I'll just, get back to the previous statement and uh, I'll just give the word same okay now what I will do is I will just see whether n is uh, not equal to minus 1 or if it is equal to uh, okay not equal to minus 1 if it is not equal to minus 1 means it has returned some index value isn't it and then inside this I can just start a loop which says and not equal to minus one it is the same condition that i'm applying and then what i will do is i will print the index value because already we have collected an index value by this statement so the word or the substring uh, is occurring is occurring at position okay and and that is how the message I'll give it okay and then what I will do again I will just use this function find function again inside the inside the uh, while loop but what I have to do is now before I go ahead 
we can also give the starting index okay for example if i give something like uh, 10 comma and uh, 23 okay now there are two more arguments that we are passing now what what are these arguments is like i will start from the index value 10 and i will end at 23 so i want to search between these index values so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so i will start from this d and 11 and i will go till 23 so 11 to uh, 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 and 23 so i will start from d and i will end over here so i'm trying to find us the same under this particular section of that string are you getting it so it will start searching from 10 and it will go till 23 okay so okay so i'll just run this program now okay let's just throw some syntax error okay not equal to i'm so sorry this is the uh, another version that we are working so it is not equal to and at this point i will just uh, remove this just to run the program okay okay so it has not given me any input because we're not printing any input i'll just print it okay now we'll run it so you can see 18 because we are trying to search between 10 to 23 so in between 10 to 23 that was d and uh, s right so we have same over here but uh, what if if i try to search from uh, maybe uh, from the position 17 so 17 basically uh, or uh, maybe 19 okay so it, it 19 so this is 18 and this is 19 okay and this is 23 so 19 20 21 22 23 so i'm trying to search between a m e space s so we don't have that some substring same so in that case it will give me the output that is minus one isn't it because it does not exist so we can give the starting and end positions over here now using the same logic using the same logic we will develop the program okay i just go back where we started okay this is not equal to not equal to one okay and uh, over here first thing is i will not give any kind of starting index at the end index in end index in that case it will search for right from the starting to end it will search for the word same in the entire string okay so but over here what i will do once i find the same that is at position 18 what i will do is i will just shift that index value with one plus one so 18 plus one so i will start searching from here till the end of the string now how to find the end of the string index value is so simple i will use the len function len of s and i will just do minus one now minus one is because if for example if this uh, okay i'll just print and we will just see the see the length of this string okay i will just see the length of the string and uh, okay i'll just remove this first i will run this okay that is 92 now that's the length of the string right so 92 so basically it will give 92 but our index value starts from zero so if this is 92 actually I've, uh, i'll be going from 0 to 91 so this is minus 1 i need to do it okay so i will start again to search for the same word same right from a from here till the end so again i will find it over here isn't it and the loop will go on till n becomes minus 1 that is it is not finding that character now let us see how it works now we will run it and we are expecting the output that is the substring is occurring at 18 and 41 now 41 we will just see whether it is the right answer or not this is 18 right 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 this is 26 27 28 29 this is 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 and 41 now let us see the output was it 41 
okay 41 perfect right so now we have actually developed this program by which we are trying to search a substring if it occurs one time or it occurs multiple times even if i have something i'll just for just for the understanding i'll just add one more same over here okay now we will run the program and see the output and uh, you can see now it has given three that 18 41 and 52 so the substring occurring at position 18 at position 41 and at position 52 so this is how we have developed the program successfully just we have used simple logic a while loop and we have used the find method the substring the starting index from where i have to find and the, till the end of the string. So I'm every time, whenever I find the word same, for example, this is 18, then I try to find it from here, that is from 19. So I've done this n plus one. So first time n will be 18, and then I'm doing 18 plus one, that is 19. So I'm trying to again search it from 19 and go till the end of the string okay so this is how the entire program works i hope you have understood the tutorial bye for now so if you have liked my video do subscribe to my channel there is a subscribe button in front of you click it right away and after that click on the bell icon so that you can get the regular notifications of my videos bye for now